Good morning everybody or afternoon depending on what time it is wherever you are. My name is Jeff from Sydney Eco Tuning and I've got a bit of a down day today so I thought I'd take the opportunity to give a quick view of the Top Don Phoenix Smart. This tool is becoming one of my favourite tools. It's actually now my go-to tool. Um, I still love my Bosch KTS but this is this is getting up there so I don't want to keep it a rambling talking video I just want to do a quick rundown just to explain the setup I've got I have the top down tablet connected to the car on a stable battery support that's actually uh, downstairs um, on a remote hotspot and I'm in my special office uh, using team viewer so if there's a bit of lag um, uh, that's why, but it is actually very, very good on Team Viewer. So this is the you turn your top down unit on. This is the screen that we, you're going to get. If it's the first unit, uh, first time you're using your unit, you're going to want to do some work here. Um, you want to get it uh, the unit up to date. Um, I mean, there's plenty of stuff here. Um, as I say, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Um, uh, uh, Holken uh, in the US he's done a fantastic video but I just want to keep it uh, short and sweet um, obviously we've all used scan tools before we've come a long way from the snap-on brick or the original scanner um, so uh, let's do an auto scan let's see if it picks up the Mercedes um, as I say we are do dealing with a little bit of lag but not it's not too bad um, the team viewer function on a scan tool should be utilized more you could you could use this same setup you could have somebody road test a car you could be looking at uh, live data looking at fuel trims boost pressures this is something that we should all use more not just for being lazy because I don't want to sit in my garage on a really extremely windy day in Sydney so there we go we've picked up the car it's a Mercedes-Benz A250 so we can hit scan or quick access Let's just hit scan. So I don't know how long this will take. I haven't scanned this car before because you don't fix your own cars, do you? Um, so yes, so I can just hit this. Ignition is on. So I can do a smart scan or a system scan. Now, the smart scan will scan each module and pull error codes. The system scan will just ping and see what networks are active. Now, everybody loves this topology view. I do quite like it. Um, it's not a it's not a deal breaker for me. I mean, I've been using my Bosch now for years, and and uh, I've never had never had topology, and I can live without it. You can view it in an old fashioned list as soon as it keeps up. Yes, yeah. So we can use topology, or we can use the system list. So let's hit the smart scan feature. And what I might do is I might just sort of fast forward this bit because it will take some time because being a Mercedes, there is quite a few modules, but I'm going to let it do this and um, I will come back to you. I will leave it, I'll leave it running. Okay then, so she's finished the scan. Um, green is good, grey is uh, not equipped. Uh, I think we can guess red is bad, so I've got two fault codes in the uh, air conditioning control module. Um, but that's not bad for uh, a Mercedes, that's uh, not off the uh, parking lot. Um, now before going go any further, we can see we've got some function on top of the screen. We, we spoke before about the system list. Come here. I'm just dealing with a fraction of lag there, I think. So the modules with codes have come up at the top. It is now having a spasm. Um, we have anti theft function. Not easy to use it with the touch screen. Okay. 
Okay, so let's ignore that. Let's just check that again. Download or update the emo program. Okay, so I have got the uh, emo program, so that's something that I'll do at a later date. Uh, control module programming. This will go through modules that we can uh, deal with and really break something if we want to, but we don't want to do that right at this second. I definitely suggest before playing with control module programming, you do look at some manufacturer's information first. Um, Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna end up um, potentially in some in some difficulty. I haven't had that yet, and I have done some module programming. Um, touch wood, uh, everything's been been good. I've I've done some uh, Volkswagen stuff. I've done some Mercedes stuff. It's been really good. So anyway, I can hit report here. Uh, we're gonna it's a, a pre-scan. Now I can put a lot of information here, but for for the interest of the video, we're gonna press skip same again skip so it's now going to generate a report um, and one of the things that i really like about the top don is the options that you can share this report when it works there we go so pre-scan now as you can see on the top right of the screen we've got a qr code there you can just hit that with your phone and you can send it to your customer your your work colleague, anybody you want by any any means, WhatsApp, Messenger, text message, email. Um, we can we can still uh, share that email here. It's just really it's just a really nice feature, um, and I do I do like the way it you know it uh, displays the report as well. So it's really easy for the customer to see. So it looks like I've got a couple of jobs to to have a look at there. Uh, Lindbus fault, fault code. Um, we're not going to go and clear any, anything now because I'm not going to run downstairs switching keys off and back on again. So we can just get out of this report. As I said, we're just dealing with a fraction of lag. I will press it once more. There we go. So I'm going to put it in this feet in this uh, format just so it's easier to see. So. One thing is that I didn't say before, when it's doing a topology search, you can you can still go into the module. So if we're searching and we've already we've already scanned the air conditioning, we can still go into that module straight away. And you don't have to do the topology or the full system scan. You can go directly into an individual system. So it is a very quick tool. So ignition is still on. So just out of interest, we're going to have a look at um, engine management. So module information, uh, 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 hardware, uh, software variants, and, and things like that. So that's always handy handy to know. Um, we know we've got we know we don't have any fault codes. Um, uh, let's have a look at data stream. So we can we can look at anything anything that is possibly imagined. It's a European late late-ish model car, so we can, we can bore ourselves to death with information as i say i'm not trying to show you how to fix cars i'm just giving a, a rundown of the tool uh, special function so configuration teaching processes uh, we've got um, variant coding control unit pro, uh, programming setting sen coding and coding backup so that's for when you're uh, replacing a module. Let's hit back here. There we go. So we're back at our uh, main screen. So we can do the same thing. Let's have a look in transmission control, control unit. Ignition still on. So very similar to the... Um, into the engine management we can look at um heaps of information it is just vast let's go back out of here yet again more uh, variant coding actuation tests everything that you can think of from a scan tool is going to is is in most cases it's going to do it now i think i'm pretty much done here 
just having a quick rundown. Let's get back out of here. And we're going to go to my favourite system. Yes, I want to end. So if I go back out to the main screen. Okay, so we're going to have a quick look at EOBD. So we're going to hit the scan function. This brings you to the page where every vehicle under the sun is. Um, we don't have to have these. For example, I don't think I'm ever going to see a, a Changan. Uh, we can remove those. I just keep them on there because uh, if anybody ever asks me if, it's, if the unit can do a certain manufacturer, I can easily go and look at it anyway. So uh, the top left, we've got EOBD. So we can hit EOBD. Let's go in. So it's going to go in and uh, search for the correct protocol. So it's now going to scan the individual protocols. It's found a match straight away. So we can carry on scanning, not that you would need to. So, okay then. So, obviously we all know how EOBD should work. And if we don't, you probably need to look at uh, Brandon Steckler because uh, his information on EOBD is fantastic now. We've, we know we've not got any fault codes, but we can look at live data. And... We could, if I was in a workshop, I would probably pick some fuel trims. So let's go short term, long term. Let's hit OK there. Uh, we can put these in a graph. Now this car's not running, so we've got a, a minus six in the long term, which is uh, nothing to be concerned about. Um, let's go back. We could look at pressure, so fuel pressure. So we could do that. We could add fuel trims, which we've already got. So if you had a certain drivability issue, we could uh, you, you could go out on a road test if I scroll the screen down, no, press the, I did the wrong bit there, didn't I? If I scroll the screen down like this, we can see we've got uh, our Wi-Fi, our Bluetooth icon. Uh, this is our video recording icon. So we can hit this button here and then we get a bar there on the left hand side. And if we press the play bar, we, we could go we could go for a road test it's hard to look at a scan tool and drive at the same time i certainly don't recommend it and we can look at all this data uh back up a workshop uh and uh, have, have an uh, an analyze see if we're losing fuel pressure or or, or we've got a, a, a you know and an, a pulling of fuel or, or an adding of fuel just one extra thing to have a look at or you could use it by a team viewer like just like what we're doing now and you could send a member of staff on a road test and um, and somebody can monitor the computer. Uh, so we'll go back out of data stream. Mode six. Uh, mode six is something that we need to look at a lot more with. Uh, uh, we can look at our misfire data. Um, it's a very strong bit of kit. So I've left it on there. We don't need to have we don't need to have that running, so we don't want to save that. Also, if I just scroll back down here, um, we we can take a full screen snip, or we can take a picture with the camera on the back of the unit. So it's just a very handy piece. Now let's get back out of here. And obviously we've got the other modes of EOBD there as well. So, as I say, it's not a, a tutorial on how to fix cars, just a bit of a look through of, of what the scan tool has. Now, if I go back there, um, there's a really useful library. So we've got an OBD fault code library, uh, a vehicle coverage list, uh, 
and obviously I have my uh, auto data on here. Um, I'm not signed in. Uh, I, I should really be signed in now, but um, anyway. And um, I do have Haynes Pro, but I personally have it on the uh, Motortech VACC. So we have a, um, a Google Chrome tab here. Aren't I lucky I've not been looking at anything dodgy on my uh, tablet? So, yes. So, you've got access to your data at the same time, uh, which is a real a real strong thing when you're when you're trying to diagnose cars because we don't want to be uh, parts changers. Um, a quick, quick run through on the top. Uh, we've got a battery tester. So, it, uh, you can have an, uh, an optional accessory with the BT Mobile Pro S. Uh, which is a great, uh, it's a great little bit of kit. I probably will do a video on that another day. I'm not going to do it now. Um, obviously, auto scan is what we did earlier. When it, uh, when you get like your pokey machine, uh, uh, VIN, VIN capture. Uh, I've got a couple of updates to do. Um, there's updates all the time. So yes, I've got a, some some updates to do there. Um, I will get rid of that if I just scroll back down here and hit that button there it's going to it's going to make your play button disappear because we no longer need to record anything on the screen and just a simple swipe up ma uh, makes it disappear now the support function here this is what I've used to connect to my uh, unit so this is just give me a team viewer ID history it's uh stuff that we've done in the past uh we can get we can get straight back in there so just a quick flick through there let's go back out of here it's not quite as smooth as using the tablet the, the tablet is a real it is super fast. It's delicate. It's not like an old, an old cheap Kmart tablet. No offense, Kmart. Don't sue me. Everyone's going to sue me. Uh, it is. It is really a nice unit. Now, if I just flick to user info, because a lot of people are buying this tool to do uh, coding and programming. Um, I myself bought it for this. Um, but on the top down, smart. These are the brands that can do that. Now, it doesn't mean you can all of a sudden be a, a, a dealer, uh, you know, an independent main dealer. There, there is always going to be flaws. There's always going to be some holes. Um, for example, I've done some Volkswagen Tig 1 clock spring, uh, and it's pulled the code with the correct coding uh, from Top Don servers, and it, and it has been correct. I've also done uh, Mercedes B200, and... Um, uh, transmission control modules it's been very good i've not yet had a i've not yet had a problem hopefully i don't ever have a problem if you want a tool uh, for coding and programming you're never going to beat the manufacturer's tool um, i do have odis and i wish it was as easy to use as, as the top down but um you know we're, we're not going to start slating uh, manufacturers because i I don't want to get in trouble but it's a great tool in the box uh i think a modern workshop should have several scan tools um and and this could certainly be one of them so i'm trying not to be too biased i do love my bosch my bosch has heaps of information but it's a lap it's a, a laptop or a pc based tool this is just so easy i carry it about in the van if i've got a car to look at I'm just in the I'm in and I'm pulling codes within within minutes. So there we go. If you'd like to see anything else, if you want me to do another top down video, I can put it on a diesel. We can maybe go and take some measurements on, on a road test. Um let me know in the comments. And um yeah, I think I've rambled on long enough. Uh I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. Bye for now.